Hey, EJ here again. Uh, welcome to Fifty Shades of Geek. Uh, another video review. This time we're looking at Sabbat Marta um, by Dan Abnett. This is the last in the Saint cycle. Okay. Uh, the ghosts have been pulled out of Ace Cardinal. They've been taken to Herador at the request of the reincarnated uh, Saint Sabbat. Um, now I do this because for pretty much the first half of the book um, whether she is or isn't Saint Sabbat is in question but it is a familiar face uh, who claims she is Saint Sabbat. It's actually Sanian and, and, and Sanian was one of the um, holy people on the Shrine World of Hagia. Now she's not the only familiar face. We've also got General Lugo from Hagia as well who's still in disgrace but desperately desperately trying to win back some form of, of grace or goodwill um, and what he says is that um, it doesn't matter whether she's a fake or not we can use her as propaganda we can bolster the forces we can bolster the human forces here on the planet and we can use them to repel the blood pact invaders who are hell-bent on taking control of Herodor uh, and breaking the spirit of the Imperial defense that's fine I have no problem with this. Um, we're back to uh, a very Verven Hive kind of setting. We're also with some familiar characters, uh, obviously because we've spent the last seven books with them, um, but we're not really seeing anything new. We're not really meeting anyone new. We're not really witnessing anything new. What we are seeing is kind of the payoff of the last three books of Gaunt effectively losing his faith, his faith being tested, uh, and his faith coming back strong um, and now this final test almost uh, is she or uh, does he or does he not believe that she is Saint Sabat um, Brim Milo has quite an interesting little storyline as we go through uh, as does Gold Collier um, but there is a little bit of a contrivance in that uh, Saint Sabat has this great holy healing uh, fountain um, in which return Gold Collier from the gibbering wreck that he's been for the last couple of stories um, and allows others of the ghosts to heal. Mm. I say it's a little bit of a contrivance but there has to be some form of, of miraculous thing for, for the saint to even exist. It was just a little head scratchy for me. Um, Gaunt is on fine form. Uh, I think now we're, we're finally seeing Gaunt uh, embody the, the character, the Colonel Commissar that he was always going to be. Um, and we see our other characters, they do pretty much what they were always going to, except, except, Elijah Ku finally gets revealed. We finally find him out as the evil little snake that he is. And, uh, you know, spoiler territory, fast forward over the next 30 seconds or so, if you've not read. Um, he does get his comeuppance. And he does get his comeuppance by certainly somebody you'd expect, but not the person uh, who has been set up to be his his main antagonist. There's also quite a tragic end to this one, uh, and it's to do with the title. It's to do with the Sabbat Martyr, and we lose quite a quite a, a well known and well loved character. Are you back? You good? Let's carry on. Um, in terms of the story, it, it reads very much like this is a best of the ghosts. Uh, and as much as I like revisiting uh, past glories and, and, and past uh, well-trodden ground, because it does feel familiar and it, it is kind of nice, you also want something new. We, we get a Vervan Hive-like theatre of warfare. Um, we get bits from Honor Guard. We get bits from... Um, Eggs Cardinal, we get bits from um, Fantine. So there are little bits and pieces that are taken from here, there and everywhere and laced throughout. And it doesn't necessarily feel new and it doesn't necessarily feel exciting. But it is entertaining. Um, yeah, a good story I think. And some of the characters certainly come to fruition. But I think it was time that we said goodbye to some of those characters. And I think it was time that we moved the story on a little bit. So I'm not slating it by any stretch of the imagination. It's just not quite up there at the at the series heights for me yet. Um, so I'm going to give it a solid seven. 
but again um, good stuff very very good stuff but I, I still hope there's better to come yet so thanks for staying with us um, through this uh, my plan is that the next two cycles will cover uh, obviously we're only through um, half of cycle four so far uh, so it's going to be a while yet but I wanted to bring you something a bit special for hanging with us this long so a while ago I asked whether it was possible to interview uh, the author who's written most of the ghost stuff and he agreed so what I'm going to do this time next week I'm going to release a special podcast Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm going to release a special podcast um, of an interview that I did with Dan um, Abner about the ghost saga up till this point and I hope you like that the following week we'll pick up with cycle 3 see you soon Thanks for staying with us. This has been Fifty Shades Geek. I've been EJ Davis, and we'll see you soon.